What's up beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Or for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Sue. So I felt like playing with some makeup today and I created this easy summer look that I thought would be great to share with you guys. I think this eye look will go with so many different outfits and I think it's such an easy way to bring in some color into your life. And just before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time I post a video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep the skin with this Elf Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm super excited to try this. I've been wanting to test this out for some time. And just work this into the skin. It actually feels really nice on the skin. Okay, so I've applied that all over the skin. I'm just gonna wait for a minute or so for it to settle in. Because I want more of a light coverage, I'm going to go in with this NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. And I'm using the shade uh, Cinnamon Mahogany. So I'll just pump a little bit of this out onto the back of my hand. And I'll be applying it with a damp makeup sponge. So I'm just applying this to half of my face just so we can see what kind of coverage this gives. From what I can remember, it's pretty light. It's very skin-like, which I really like. So that's a nice light layer of that product. And as you can see, it's really natural looking. I think it's perfect for the summer. Okay, so I'm just gonna work it into the other side of the face. So one thing I did notice is that it does oxidize a little bit, so I just keep that in mind. So next I'll just be going in with the ELF Hydrating Camel Concealer. And for this, I am in the shade Medium Warm. So I'll be applying this right under the eye. A little bit down the nose and a little bit on the forehead just to highlight. So going in with the other side of my makeup sponge, I'm just going to work that into the skin. I'll be using the MAC Studio Tech in NW46 to apply my contour. So it's quite a dark shade, but I really like how this works for a contour. It's really natural looking and can also build up the product. it down my face and around the jawline to really emphasize that jaw. And I personally love using a beauty blender to apply this. I think it's super forgiving. It doesn't create any harsh sort of lines. It just makes everything look really seamless. So bring it up to the forehead, just really blend that out. And then just using the other side that I used to apply my foundation, I'm just gonna make sure that there are no harsh lines. And with whatever's left on my makeup sponge, I'm just gonna contour the nose just a little bit. Next, I'll be going in with the Glossier Cloud Paint. And this is in the shade Beam. I actually love all the shades in this range. They're really beautiful, but this is actually one of my favorites. So a little bit of this product goes a long way, so Start off with a little bit and then add as you go. Hmm. 
If you've gone overboard, you can always just use your beauty blender to pick up some of that product. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the tip of my nose. It just makes it look a little bit more like that, you know, natural flush from within. So I didn't even use up all that product. But the other side of my makeup sponge that I use to apply my concealer, I'm just gonna tap it out, make sure there are no creases before I add any powder. I'll be going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set that and dry. And I'm just using the Morphe E1 brush to apply this. So moving on to the eyes, I'll be using my Morphe 350 palette. To start off, I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. It's called Creams. So this is just going to really help me to set my eyelid. And I'm using a fluffy blending brush to apply this. It's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush. So just work this all over the eye. Next, I'll be going into this really pretty orangey shade right here called Hey. And I'm just going to work that into the crease. I do have to say that there is a lot of fallout when it comes to this palette in the pan. But luckily there is no fallout so far on the face. I'm just really trying to build up that color. It seems to work really well if you just use a padding motion. And for the end, I'm just going to flick this and blend it out. So when you're happy with the intensity of that color, you're gonna move right into it's this beautiful bronzy shade called Legacy. So I'm just applying that right into the crease, right into this corner right here. So again, I'm just trying to really build up that color and keeping it focused on this half of my lid. I'm going to be going into this shade here. It's called Glow Girl, more of a gold sort of shade. So I'll be applying that one to the inner portion of the lid. I'm just working them in together so it's seamless. So this shade definitely has a lot more payoff. And I'm going to just run this along the bottom lash line as well. I'm going back into this color here. I'm just going to define the outer crease, meet the bottom lash line with the top. I'm just quickly blending everything together, making sure it's seamless using that first fluffy blending brush that we used. And using that gold shade, I just want to highlight a little bit under the eyebrow. To finish off the eye look, I'll be using Maybelline The Falsies. Push up drama mascara. I'll be lining my lips with Morphe Love Bite. So this one's really close to my natural lip color. So I'm able to overline my lips just a little bit. And then I'll be going in with the Maybelline Vivid Matte liquid lipstick in Nude Thrill. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this MAC lip gloss in Eurobeat just for it and add a bit of sparkle. So I'm just going to quickly dip into my Urban Decay Naked Palette, some basics. I just want to use this first shade 
called Venus to add a little pop of sparkle to the inner corners of the eye. And I think I'm going to use that same shade as my highlighter today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you in my next video. Also, if you're curious on how I get my heatless curls, I'll link a video up top.